Hi sisters, the following message comes to you from the hearts of your past international presidents. We know this is a time of uncertainty and change. Our careers, family lives, and social lives have been turned upside down. Our chapters and fraternity are also navigating through difficult days. Lucky for us, we know AOPI is resilient. The fraternity has faced trying times before, and we will surely do so again. We hope you enjoy the following brief history lesson on how AOPI has thrived in the face of adversity. Let's go back to 1913. That was a memorable year in our fraternity history. It was that year that Barnard College decreed that initiations into all fraternal organizations would be suspended for three years. As they intended, that three-year ban on initiating new members led to the end of fraternity life at Barnard College by the spring of 1915. Despite Alpha Chapter maintaining a stellar reputation on campus, they fell victim to a negative campus Greek environment. The loss of our Alpha Chapter was devastating for our very young fraternity. Determined AOPI leaders stepped up and not only redefined our future, they guided the fraternity through a period of rapid growth and renewed idealism, even as the world faced the start of World War I. For our part, AOPI Convention 1917, which was being planned to celebrate our 20th anniversary, was canceled to allow our members, chapters, and fraternity to focus on service, which we did magnificently. Let's jump ahead to the 1930s. AOPI bravely faced and survived the economic depression. This time was marked by limited funds, inactive chapters, and smaller memberships in chapters that were able to maintain members. Yet even during this very trying decade, AOPI grew from 41 to 49 chapters and a membership of 6,588 to 11,180 initiated members. As we know, World War II would soon follow. Wise AOPI leaders put into place many new policies for membership and finances that enabled us to survive those challenging times. We experienced the cancellation of not one, but two conventions in 1943 and 1945. After the war ended in 1945, AOPI rescheduled our Golden Jubilee Convention for June of 1946. As you might imagine, there was great need for sisterhood. We've also successfully navigated through the Spanish flu, civil unrest in the 1960s, instability of campus enrollments and Greek life memberships, and pressing issues that impact our Greek world daily. We are more fortunate today to have technology at our disposal to keep us connected when the world is trying to keep us apart. Reflecting back on our history, we're always quick to celebrate our triumphs, but sometimes it's valuable to be reminded of the challenges we have overcome. The circumstances our members, chapters, fraternity, even our world face today may be unprecedented but they are not unsurmountable. As you have heard, AOPI has proven to be resilient because our motto and principles have always remained before us. Stella Perry wrote these words in 1936, reflecting back on the founding of Alpha Omicron Pi. They still ring true today. I quote, I will say that if we did not foresee the future, neither did we fear it. In closing, we send you this message from all your pips. Reach out to an AOPI sister. Be that friend upon whom you have no fear to call.